you have this tremendous feeling of a treasure hunt. You know, almost like a treasure island in a, in a strange, morbid way. It's, it's treasure island. It's a potential gold mine for research exploration. It's a very important piece of this puzzle. Everyone who has been interested in this speaks of this mysterious disease in Guam as a Rosetta Stone, as something which may contain the secrets of ALS and Parkinsonism and Alzheimer's. This is the problem for our generation to solve in the way that people in the 1950s solved polio. In the next 10 years, we really have to do something to make a dent into these diseases because we are an aging society. Maybe there you're going to find the cure for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's, the whole range of nightmares. Maybe just solve that one problem and you've got the answer to all of them. We have scientists coming from Japan, Australia, Canada, I guess all over the world. But uh, there has not always been amity and cooperation here. I realized just how controversial the whole field is, how war-torn it is, even. This theory is, is uh, not without controversy. There appears to be a significant amount of hostility. It was an indignity to me. Nobody believed that. Every poop we I think it holds little water. So many warring factions among the scientists. Like working in a thieves' market. No, I can't put that on tape. Okay. Vehement. Like creationism compared to natural selection. I wanted to be exonerated. The nature of science. Conflict. The stakes are so high and the subject itself is so small in some ways. This very rare, very strange illness on one rather remote island. It's one of the most interesting mystery stories on the planet.